Today's video is just gonna be a collection of awful things that I found on TikTok. Starting with this woman, she has 360,000 followers on TikTok. Her whole page is autism awareness, or at least mostly autism awareness. I understand the need for a sense of community. I'm sure it can feel very isolating dealing with autism, cancer, even just on a lighter note, just being a parent. It's nice to know that there are other people out there you can talk to, relate to. There's a fine line separating awareness and exploitation, and this is just wrong. Her bio says her son's name, it starts with a C. C's mom plus six. So her star child plus six others or whatever. But C is her money-making child, gets all those views. She's constantly posting any meltdown he has, any act of violence that he has. There's other kids around, it's just, it's not good. Any low point that she can film and post, she does so. But obviously, because those get the most views. Her most viewed video right now has 64 million views and it's him having a meltdown in the kitchen. So why would you stop? Besides the fact that it's your child, he's a minor and it's probably like the lowest point of his life. 64 million views though. That's pretty good incentive. Her whole page is just messy. So although he takes medicine to sleep, sometimes he fights it. This can lead to increased anxiety and agitation. <laughs> Okay, give me just a second. Mm -hmm. The baby gave me a sip of his. Good. That's he so gave sweet. me a sip of his juice. Aww. Boy, honey. Hi. Hi. All right, hold on. The plug is next to the recliner. No wonder he can't fall asleep. All six other kids are there, the lights are all on, everyone's yelling, the camera's an inch from his friggin' face. I don't even, I can't even really show this video. It's just an up close of the kid's face and that's it. She has the phone like right up in there. If you really wanna use this as a teaching moment, you can just talk about, hey, these are some things I do when my son's having a hard time trying to fall asleep. However, that doesn't get the views now, does it? The next one says he's stressed on the way to my mom's house because he needs a potty break. I would be stressed. Ah! Well, the camera. Ah! Let's go inside and potty, okay? Oh! Did your tummy hurt? Okay, your tummy hurts. Let's get out. You feel better? Baby. Yay! Yeah. Do you feel better? Better. Yes or no? Like, talk about a good filming opportunity. I've been in the vehicle when I have to go to the bathroom. It's awful. If someone was filming me during that, I would lose my mind. There's also a shot in this when he's getting back into the car, his pants are not pulled up all the way. Like, yeah, we better include that in the video. Any moment where someone's crying, someone's not having a good time, it's filmed, it's uploaded. The next video is so chaotic. It's basically just everyone that's in her house is running around and fighting and screaming. <laughs> Now, I'm not gonna falter for that. I'm sure six or seven kids, whatever, that would be crazy. What I am gonna falter for though, is putting it online. It's a whole video about how she had to be firm with her other son because everyone's different. That's the takeaway, I guess. Yeah, I told you, Mom. Take it in there. I mean, my birthday. I will get them. Give yes, me a second. Sir. Oh, I got my chest. I will get your chest cold. She's showing us her yelling and disciplining her kids. Her whole page is so messy. She's constantly like going live and talking about her divorce and custody agreements. Actually, I think it's sub only lives talking about her custody agreements. So weird. Why would you air out like who has your kids on what days and when and how much custody you have? Like she just needs to put the phone down. Okay, this next woman has 235,000 followers. Her account is supposed to lay about motherhood. However, this includes a lot of her kids having tantrums, meltdowns, whatever you want to call it. She's trying to spin it as a teaching moment. However, we don't need to see your kids being that vulnerable and put online. Like this one. Helping my son communicate during a meltdown. Why are you crying? Okay, tell me why. Do you want gecko? Oh, I see. Do you want to? Do you want to sleep with him? Yeah. Okay. 
just can't imagine using every meltdown as a teaching moment for the internet. When you think that an 18 month old was too young to throw tantrums. Like all the different shots, following him around on this tantrum with your phone. One noodle. She mentioned she had a lot of backlash on this one because people didn't like that she was forcing her kid to like take one more bite of food, but she didn't get backlash for filming her son having a full on meltdown. But I just want everyone, including myself, to just be more critical about what you're consuming and what you're putting out there when it comes to like kids and other people. If you wanna film yourself having a tantrum, crying, throwing up all over the camera, don't care. Love it. Go for it. All right, here's the last one from her. I'm gonna go take a nap. You can either walk or I can take a nap. What do you want to do? Do the kids start crying and then you're like, oh, tripod or oh, husband, we're gonna make a TikTok. The next little compilation is way worse. It's kids in diapers and or the bathroom, stuff like that. Not just from one person, but from a whole bunch of different people. I took screenshots of comments and search suggestions and it's so gross. This first video, there's a mom straight up changing a diaper on camera. You can see enough where it's like, okay, uh, how has nobody commented that this probably shouldn't be up here? After I scrolled on through this video, this was the recommended search. Others searched for, so people are typing this in. Constipated toddler pushing one out. Okay, the next one says, apparently I chose the wrong swim diaper. And basically, I'm not gonna show it, but it was, must have been a regular diaper, it just absorbed all the water, so the diaper looks huge. The person that posted this, most of their videos have 300, 400, 500 views, like this video of the swim diaper has 53,000 views. That's the video that takes off, is a close-up of their kid in a diaper. This one, when you need to poop on the boat and there's no bathroom. <laughs> if he was peeing, it would go out with. And you can see his bare butt on the side and he's sitting on a box going to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because who posts this online? <laughs> if this was an adult doing this, would you post it? Probably not. Pants fully down. Filming it to send to your family, whatever. That's all fine. 340,000 strangers don't need to see that. Next. pants were on with the diapers bulging and that is just too much though that is too much though this one says time to potty train yeah <gasps> put your diaper back on i will go put some clothes on you put your diaper back on hey give me this so it's a kid and he's like trying to take his diaper straps off um the top comment on this one was at least kind of calling her out not well received but she says please be aware of all the disgusting people your baby's never safe and it's just like Shh, all right so this woman, again, the last like 20 videos that she's posted, 500 views max. This one has 10 million views right now. And then this one. Almost. Almost done pooping? But I poop more. So it's a kid just like leaning over the side, trying to go. This is a comment on that video. I want to change his poopy diaper. Me too. So this stuff, while it is lighthearted and funny to most, it's being put in the hands of the wrong people. Just hope people see soon enough that it's not okay. Okay, the last category. So this is probably one of the worst people I found on social media. Breastfeeding is a wonderful thing. You should be able to breastfeed wherever, whenever, however long. On a separate note, the adult entertainment industry, respect, okay? You see where this is going? These two things should not be combined. Feeding your child, a minor, an infant, should not be associated with adult videos. So there is a whole normalized breastfeeding community on TikTok. And there are some accounts on there who know what they're doing. It's so obvious. Not everyone, not everyone, at least these two that I found. So this first woman does make adult entertainment pretty sure she has an of account most of her feed is like wearing lingerie doing thirst traps whatever sprinkled in between these are videos of her breastfeeding exposed in my 
personal opinion, this is a way for her to have nudity on her page while hiding behind the, oh, but it's breastfeeding, it's natural, it's whatever. But the comments on these videos, she for sure knows what she's doing. She's using this to like advertise her OF account. This is a video of her breastfeeding in a store. And these are the comments. Me next, can I have? When you plan on number two, goddess, me next, I'm thirsty, like, I like it. I can see the other one is reserved for me. That's just on this video, okay? She has so many of them. This is her at a pool. They're fully out. So the comments are obviously disgusting. This woman knows what she's doing. This should not be allowed online. I don't care what your views are when it comes to having your kids in your videos, but I hope we can all agree this is not it. Here's another account that knows exactly what they're doing. Right up close, baby breast. There are a lot of people that will most definitely take this video the wrong way. We should consider some privacy for these breastfeeding kids when this video has 10 million views. I'm sure we would love for the internet to be not full of creeps, but it is full of creeps. So when you know that and you see comments, she does have similar comments on her videos. I would hope you would reconsider the stuff you're putting out there. This next video has 12 million views. The hashtag that's on this video, I support Jacqueline and if you don't know who Jacqueline is, she's super well known for basically exploiting her daughter and filming her in these compromising scenarios so to have i support them on one of your videos is very telling about what your intentions are here let's look at some of the comments that are really big that baby is luck so big love can i have some hum 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 he is thirsty mm, tasty if i even just got one comment like that i would shut it down that would be enough okay here's the last one comments on this one i want some i do the same in the champagne room and then i have the same grin similar techniques i use is the other one going spare asking for a friend top notch comments you can't say stop sexualizing breastfeeding and then let this run rampant on your page when your kid is in all of these videos it's so gross yeah so she had commented somewhere i didn't screenshot it saying that she's okay with posting this stuff because she goes through and blocks all the creeps and deletes all the creepy comments not possible when you have 15 million views on a video i just found all these disgusting comments in a few minutes breastfeeding in public is not weird by itself but filming it to cater to the creeps online is weird and honestly should not be allowed go make videos with your breast milk or something but leave your kid out of it what's the point of all this i don't know i just want people to be careful what you're posting online be careful what you're engaging with online because like more people see it the more you engage with it so okay that's it goodbye